Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about C uh, C Cynthia Calvillo versus Pereira Rodriguez. Calvillo, 9 6 and 1 on a huge losing streak, five losses in a row at 36 years old. She'll be 37 in a couple of months. 5-4 uh, with the 64-inch reach, fighting Pierre Rodriguez, who's 9-1, and 4-1 and one in their last five fights, losing to Jillian Robertson 11 months ago by armbar, 31 years old, 5-3 uh, with a 63-and-a-half-inch reach. Cal Calvillo hasn't looked great. She looked decent early in her last matchup, was a loss of split decision, lost to, to uh, Gudinez, which I thought Gudinez won. I thought she won last night as well. But I think Pierre Rodriguez does a lot of good work in this one. I think Calvillo gives Rodriguez issues with her movement. And as long as she moves around like she did in her last fight, moves around, throws her combinations, um, some kicks you know, to the legs, to the body, some teeps, um, not letting Rodriguez get in on her. Rodriguez, like I said, 9-1, 5 wins by TKO or KO, 4 by submission, 2-1 in, in the uh, uh, UFC. Again, like I said, losing to Robertson by armbar in the second round. Nothing really to hold your head down on. You know, not bad, really. Um, again, beat Sam Hughes, beat Kay Hansen. Um, yeah, I, I think Cynthia Calvillo can break her five-fight losing streak. I don't think it's going to be necessarily a fun fight to watch. Five finishes, but she's also been TKO'd twice in her career. She's 6-6-1. Six, six, she's been finished twice in her UFC career. Uh, like they said, Luis Du Godinez, Nina Nunez, Andrea Lee, Jessica Andrade, which is whatever. And then Caitlin uh, Kuchagian Sermonera. Sermonera, that's her name. And uh, yeah, I, I like Cynthia Calvillo in this one. I think she does a lot of good work. I think her win against Jessica I doesn't mean nothing because Jessica I is trash. But losing to Caitlin is not great. But, you know, Andrade, sure. Andrea Lee, corner stoppage. All right. Nina Nunes, back to back, back to back split decision losses for Cynthia. I don't think it's and like I said, it's five losses in a row. She's six one and one. You know, you take these five losses away, which is crazy to think about. I think she gets back on track. I think she beats Rodriguez in a close decision, but I think this time the scorecards will go her way. I like Cynthia Calveo. I think she does good work. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys are picking. Peace.